Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty by Chick. Welcome to my channel. So I just did a pregnancy test. If you guys want to see the full video, it's over on my channel. But I, I mean, this is kind of like the same thing as the live pregnancy test because I did do, um, what do you call it? I did take the test. I did take it. And to my surprise, to my surprise, it is, can you guess drum roll? Mm -hmm. It's negative. I'm not seeing anything. And I am 10 days post, guys. No, 11 days post today. I'm 11 days post today. And I should be seeing something by now. But I'm not. And so far, a lot of the tests are doing the same thing. It's kind of weird. I didn't want to say much, but... I felt like I've had symptoms this month, the shortness of breath. I felt like I've had shortness of breath. I've had the achy boobs. I have had the cramping down there or twinge, twinges, whatever you call it. I've had a slew of symptoms, but based on the last month or the last couple of months, I was trying not to read my symptoms because I, based on them, you can see that they can be misleading. Some of them, a lot of them can either be, I mean, it's like, are they pregnancy symptoms or are they premenstrual symptoms, meaning your cycle is about to come? They are all the same, like, that, and a little TMI, a little TMI, down to like CM um, changes, there are some of them that are like specific and key on, um, bang on to like pregnancy, but then you look it up and you also learn that it's the same thing for getting your, your period. So it's like you can't even read into CM. The, the, the only thing that's accurate that you can do is literally just wait until after your cycle and wait until you're late to go and check. That's the only thing you can really do because nothing is really accurate until then. So, um, I had symptoms, which I thought were something, but I tried not to say anything about them on here because I don't want to get myself discouraged. And I also don't want to get my hopes up in that area because I know that they can be one or the other. So as of now, I'm still, I'm a day late. And I was mentioning, like I said, I've been doing more TTC videos on my family vlog channel. If you guys want to see them there too, I'm updating kind of here and about, but here's just more personal. I can just talk more candidly over there is somewhat of a family, it is a family channel so I have to be more mindful. I was explaining on that channel that because I was using the pre the the old app which is more of like a period tracker it was my cycle is a little off this month I feel like it's a little shorter than usual it's like two days shorter and according to that I'm two days I'm a day late right now but switching over to the glow app the glow app is informing me and I guess I told the Glow app that on the regular, my cycle is 28 days long. I told, indicated on there that, yes, 20 days, 28 days long. So according to them, I'm, tomorrow is when I should expect my cycle. So I'm not sure what I should be trusting right now. I'm just hanging in there and just not going to be taking any more tests. Just chilling like a villain, waiting till Aunt Show, Aunt Show waiting for Aunt Flo to show her face because I feel like she's coming. Not that I'm actually feeling those symptoms. Typically, I feel like I get, I mean, I do feel bloated. I do. But you usually feel something going on to be like, okay, Aunt Flo is on her way. Well, well, no, I don't see her. I don't feel like that right now. But honestly, I feel like I'm so out because if it's day 11 post ovulation, and I have tested and I have gotten zero, like zero confirmations, like not even, not even a line anymore. Gosh, I feel like we're so far from where I started back when I thought, I got a positive. <laughs> and then I'm like all the way back here where I'm like, okay, I don't even see a faint line. Gosh, oh, I'm just so, so done with this season. <laughs> and um, I guess I'm just waiting to... I just kind of, kind of want Aunt Flo to just come, be done, get it over with so I can try again. Like, why is this so suspenseful? Like, why are you not showing your face? Like, why is this being dragged out? It's just the worst. So, yeah, um, this two-week wait is at its end, and I'm very thankful for that. And I'm thankful to be able to just move forward and get the answers that are needed within a day or two. 
as in today and tomorrow. So I uh, hope you guys are having a good time. For those of you that are TTCing, I pray and hope that it is your month. I wish you guys all the best of luck. Sending lots of baby dust your way and positive vibes. And just telling you, just try to encourage you, you to not lose hope and, to, you know, don't, don't lose hope. Be patient and, you know, do with your part because there's only so much you can do. Uh, and um, your time will come. So that's where I'm at. I make these videos and I think sometimes people get the wrong idea like when I make them that I'm stressing myself out. And I know sometimes it comes across because I'm just being, it's not even being dramatic, but I'm just sharing how I'm genuinely feeling in that moment. But as you can see, like I, you know, I walk away and I still, every now and again, I might get a little consumed where I'm just like looking it up and researching like, is breastfeeding blah, blah, blah. Is it going to alter my chances? Is is it okay? Like all these little things. And so far, so far, I don't know. It's been okay. Um, I, but I think sometimes people get the hint that I'm stressing myself out with just the TTCing and I'm not, I'm just, just doing, you know, I'm just sharing my journey with you guys and sharing how I genuinely feel. But outside of that, I'm thankful. I do, you know, I'm thankful for everything I have. I'm thankful for my current baby and I'm just being patient. Everything will come in due time and I truly trust in that. So I hope you guys can kind of, you know, hone in on that little saying too and just be patient and remember that your time will come. Baby dust is coming your way, y'all. And I hope you guys are having a good day. Yeah. So thanks for watching and much love.